Hello and welcome back to GP's Ads and Ends. Jessica here. So I have my first April cash stuffing budget breakdown, etc. that I need to do today. I'm not really going to go through this too much with the exception of a couple things. I had to put an additional 194 into my savings account because my taxes, uh, the tax bill that I've talked about before is being taken out on Friday the 14th, April 14th. So in order to make sure that I had enough for that, I needed to add an additional 194, which is a bigger amount than I'm usually putting aside for taxes. I have changed my withholding for my work, so hopefully I won't have a, a tax bill and maybe a refund next year but uh, we'll have to see how that <laughs> works out. So I just kind of did my standard split bills for my online bills, my subscriptions, and my HelloFresh meals. So the amount that's staying in the bank. I didn't put anything in for gas or Duncan this time. Since I had to put more aside for the taxes, that's just not a necessity for this paycheck. So we're good with that. So the total staying in the bank is 634. My amount, my total income was 1,331. So I was putting 60 into buffer, the 194 into the taxes, 634 staying in the bank. So the amount that I withdrew for actual cash, cash is 443. So I'm putting just minimal amounts into my wallet. We'll get into that later. I'm doing my standard amount that I do for annual payment. I'm going to have to start ref um, adding money into my car insurance. I put that money into the bank as well because that will be coming out in a day or so for my six-month premium for my car insurance, so I need to start stuffing that again. And then just minimal, minimal amounts again for the rest. I'm doing the standard 50 that I always do for my mom. I'm only putting a $48 aside for my debt payment this time. I kind of went through my debt and that's all my credit cards here that I have. And I have two that are very close to being paid off. I have $15.68 on one credit card and then it'll be completely paid off. And then I have a Target credit card that only has $80.53. So I wanna have both of those completely paid off by the end of this month. So that's why I'm only putting aside the $48 for debt this time around. So I'm gonna hopefully, like I said, have two of those. I kind of, I think I want to, attack the smaller balances first so that I can get them paid off quicker. I'll still make the monthly payments on everything to keep them up to date, but I think I want to tackle the smaller balances and kind of get some of these completely out of the way and totally paid off sooner rather than later. I was trying to do like the highest interest, but they all have pretty much the same interest amount, so it's not that big of a deal. But I think if I can pay some of the smaller balances off faster within the next few months, I don't know. I, I just kind of feel better about it. And then we have, uh, I have $75 that I'm putting towards my holiday binder, and then $52 will go towards challenges. So I'm going to put this aside so that we can get into, I have my cash and the wallet, but we're going to do that a little bit later. I'm going to do the prop money for my online binder first. So I'm going to go ahead and put all of this into my cash tray and we'll get started. I did already write in the amounts as well to kind of make things go a little bit quicker, but I'm going to go ahead and get this set up. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started with the online bills. So Buffer is getting $60. I'm going to go ahead and do that with a 50 and a 10. And it still has 42. So we are at 50, 70, 90, 102. 
rent is has nothing is getting 92. Okay, so we have 50, 70, 92. Phone is getting 42, so the next payment for this will be coming out on April 17th. So that's why this money is still in here, but with the additional 42, we should have 126. So we have 20, 42. So now we're at 20, 30, 60, 80, 1, 120, 122, 124, 126. Okay. Credit card currently has 30. There's one payment that should be coming out today, I believe, which is April 14th, not the day that you're actually seeing this. <laughs> But we are adding a, so once that's taken, this money will come out. I just haven't taken it out yet, but we're getting an additional 131. So, let's see. Okay, so we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 130, 131. We are currently up to 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 150, 160, 161. Subscriptions currently has six in there. We're getting 56. Just gonna do that with a 50 because I'm kind of running short on 20s, but that puts us up to 62, so 50, 55, 60, 61, 62. <laughs> Hello Fresh currently has nothing. We are getting 240, I mean, sorry, 204. So I'm going to do that with 50s, and then I can break that down later if I need to, but we have 50, and I keep forgetting that I have <laughs> this now, and if any of you watch Hands and Bands, you'll know she has like a little commercial thing that she says. Okay, so we have 204, so 50, 100, 150, 200, 202, 204. Shopping currently has nothing that's getting 40. So 20, 40. Okay, car loan currently has 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 470, 475, 477, 478. So that is the amount that I have in that bank account currently. I've been doing 150, but because of the higher amount I had to put aside for tax. I'm just doing the 125 that I would need for the month payment. So I am just going to do that with the, basically just cutting the amount that I owe for the month in half. So we have 100, 120, 125. So, and then this payment will be coming out at the end of April. It's always the last day of the month is when my next payment will be coming out, so I'll have another April paycheck. But I do have almost two months of payments saved up just in the bank account, kind of as standby. But that bank account gets a, a 
in like a higher a little bit of a higher interest rate than normal as well so anywho now we should be at let's see I was at 478 plus 125 because I don't have a tracker in there for this one so that should be up to 603 so 100 200 300 400 500 550 570 590 595 600 602 603 awesome Okay, gas is getting nothing. That currently has 103, so we are good there. Duncan is not getting anything. This hasn't been reloaded again, but I believe I have enough for two reloads. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 61. So I'm good with that. And then whatever. It has 61 because since gas is at $100, whatever gets put into my savings account from like the save as you go transfer that my bank account does i'll put that into duncan instead of gas since gas is over 100 right now all right so that is it for the online i'm going to go ahead and put this away i'm going to clean this up and then we'll get into the real cash Okay, so I have the cash, I have my wallet, so we'll get into that in a moment. But uh, this bank bag came from Supernatural Budget. She has an Etsy shop, TikTok, and YouTube channel, so go check her out. But this is just a fun way to kind of carry <laughs> the money. I have my cash breakdown slip. So this slip came from Sincerely Roxy Designs. She has a YouTube, I believe, and an Etsy shop, so go check her out. And I love the laminated because I can just wipe this off with alcohol and keep it moving. Okay, so just going to put these in the order that I want to count. So this should be $443. So this is going to get spread across my wallet and my long-term binder. My holiday binder will do that today as well. But uh, let's go ahead and count this, make sure we have the right amount. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300, so that's 300, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85, 95, 400, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, so 443, and the next thing that I'm going to do like I normally do is sort these, make sure they're all some of these today look mangled. These are not the Christmas, Christmas looking um, bills that I've gotten from the bank. But I want to make sure that these are all facing the right way. And I'm also going to go through and look for the J bucks to see if I have anything that I can put towards this month's donation. I'm going to roll um, a little clip on the side here for April's donation, which is going to be autism awareness. For April I believe is what I chose let me double check yes autism awareness so it's autism awareness month so I picked an organization that will do the 100% match through my work and then whatever J bucks that I have found between this and my next April paycheck will go towards a donation so I'm gonna just go ahead and sort through these and see what we have Wow, I think this is the first time that I've ever not had a J-Buck. 
not a single JBAC. I hope I get some in the next um, paycheck. Otherwise, I don't know <laughs> what I'm gonna do. I, I haven't really thought about what I would do if I haven't if I hadn't gotten any J bucks at all. So that'll be interesting. All right, so I'm gonna start with my wallet, and whoop, this goes into. All right, so I had just gone to get my nails done. This goes into my beauty envelope. So let me just stick that in there. Okay, and then I have a single dollar, also not a J buck, that will go into my savings challenges. So that's just from a change. I don't think I have any coin, but let me just double check. Oh, I have a little bit. Okay. Writing. So, first up is dining. This currently has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 40, 160, and this is getting just 20. So, we should be up at 180. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80. So, 180. Groceries currently has 50, 70, 90, and this is getting just 10, so we should be at 100. 50, 50, 70, 90, 100. Shopping is currently empty. This is getting just 20 for now, so. Hopefully, I'm not going to have to do any kind of shopping out and about anywhere. <laughs> Entertainment currently has 20, 40, 60, 75, and this is getting just 5, so we should be at 80. 20, 40, 60, 75, 80. And Beauty currently has just the five. I did actually go and get a pedicure recently. It's been really super warm here. I needed to get it done. So I also did my eyebrows. So just a little bit of a semi spa day. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to probably stuff this significantly with my next paycheck because this one's only getting 10. Unless I finish a savings challenge or something like that, I can pull the money from there and put it into my wallet and kind of add a little bit extra if I need. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in. All right, wallet is done. Next up is the long term. Okay, so as I said, $194 went into, I just transferred that straight into the account where the money is gonna be taken from instead of pulling out the cash just to have to put it immediately right back into the bank, so I didn't even bother. This is now at zero. So I'm gonna have to start stuffing this again with my next paycheck. So I'll probably start up again with the 5%. I should be getting, so I had to do, all right, when I lived in Florida, I only had to do federal taxes. I didn't have to do state. They don't collect state income tax in Florida. Connecticut does. So while I did have to pay $1,500 for my federal tax bill, I'm going to be getting about 300 I think it was $350 as a refund from Connecticut. So I may put a little bit of that in here, but I, I also want to stuff maybe my holiday binder or do some savings challenges with that money once I get it as well. So I'm waiting for that to come in. But uh, so that currently has nothing. Annual payments... 
I do have a like uh, DoorDash annual. Um, I pay like what is it called fast pass so some of the fees are like reduced and, and things like that and you get some bigger discounts uh, so that will be coming out at the end of the month but this is getting 40 with two 20s so this should be up to 545 we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 520, 540, 545. And I keep saying that I want to go and get a post office box, which is kind of like one of the things that I've been saving up in here. I really need to like figure that out. <laughs> and what size box I want to get and things like that. But car insurance currently has 30. So that was just a little bit of extra that I was stuffing while I, you know, when I had a little bit of extra money. So this is no longer fully funded. The new premium, what it was 385, it bumped up a little bit higher to 404, which is not too bad. But since I had the extra money, I'll only need to put $33 aside for car insurance. So we have 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. These are so awful. Okay. So we should be up to 63. So 20, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63. Car maintenance is getting 10, so we should be up to 170, so we're at 150, 100, 150, 160, so that's getting just 10, so now we're at 170. Emergency has 400 and it's getting 20, so we have 1, 2, 3, 400. We're getting 20, so now we're at 420. And then same for savings. Currently has 400, is getting 20. So we're at 420. Vacation is at 300, and it's getting just 10. So 310. Wineries is currently at 20, 40, 60, 75. And this is getting 10. We don't have any specific plans to go to any currently, but if we do, I'll have some money for a bottle of wine or some tastings or what whatever we want to do. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 85. Medical was at 230. This is also getting 10. So 100, 200, 20, 30. So now we are at 240. 100, 200, 220, 230, 240. Mom is getting 50 and she's getting two 20s and a 10. 20, 40, 50. Nothing in school and then debt is getting 48. And that's gonna be. So we are at 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48. All right, so we are done there. All right, so we have, let me just see what we have left. So we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 
85, 90, 95, 100, 105, 10, 15, 20, 25, so 125, 127. Okay, so. Okay, so perfect. So I budgeted about $75 for my holiday binder. I don't know if I'm going to be putting that full amount into holidays. We'll see how the scratch offs go. I'm going to go ahead and pull out my book. We're going to start, and I got my little Larry scratch off token. So, this as well as the scratch off book comes from Hands and Bands. She is the scratch off queen. Okay, so we have no J Bucks. So that's sad. We're gonna start with gifts because I want to keep that going. There's not a whole lot in there currently. This is at 20, 40, 60, 75, 76, 77. So, I want to do at least one so we can keep this going. I'm going to do this hat is talking to me. Okay, so this is getting nine. Um, now, I only have a couple of singles. So I do have, this is the money from my last paycheck. There's about 125. This is going to be going towards like the game night with my mom and savings challenges, but I'm going to go ahead and take a, I think I should have at least five here. Three, four, exactly five. So I'm just going to switch <laughs> and hopefully <laughs> we'll have enough for some other things. <laughs> Okay, so five, six, seven, eight, nine. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let me go ahead and put this in here and see if I can like swap anything. Just because I would like to try to keep singles here if I can. They just come in handy. So we have 20, 40, 60. Seventy, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-one, eighty-two, eighty-three, eighty-four, eighty-five, eighty-six. Okay, so let's do so I can do another twenty. I'm gonna put the twenty in here. And then we'll do one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I should still have eighty-six. 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 86. Perfect. And I think I'm going to just leave that because I do want to do, I want to get Mother's Day squared away. Because that is right around the corner. So I don't have an envelope in my holiday binder for St. Patrick's Day. I'm just going to use this page for Mother's Day. All right, so let's see. Currently, let's see what we have in here currently. 40. So I already know what I want to get her for, like her Mother's Day gift. And then we'll probably, I don't know if we'll end up going out for like brunch or lunch or dinner or something like that for Mother's Day as well. So I would like to have some in here for, for that also. So let's start here. Oh, we are starting off strong with a 10. And a 13. All right, let's do at least one more. And a six. Okay. 
Okay, so, so far we are at 10, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do one more and then I think we'll call it a day on this and a five all right so we are at 10 20 25 30 31 32 33 34 so I think I'm gonna do my last 20 and then we'll do a 10 so 34 20 30 31 32 33 34 so with the 40 already in there we have 20 40 60 70 71 72 73 74 good okay and I think I want to I want to get Father's Day started as well um, I, there's not a page in here for Father's Day. I think what I'm going to do is maybe continue on with this page. And then once this one is finished, I'll move on to this summer page. So let's go ahead and do one or two in here for Father's Day. All right, and we've got 10 right off the bat. So I'm just gonna start with that and we're good. Okay, so that is that for the holiday binder. So let's see what I have left. So I had budgeted 75 for the holiday binder and that would have left about 52 for our savings challenges. Let me put this away. Or yeah, for, for game night savings challenges. So we have 10, 20, 35, 45, 55, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, and then a 75 from my wallet. <laughs> So it ended up being a little bit backwards, but I'm okay with that. I have a good amount going for the Mother's Day. And then this is just going to go into the money that I already have. So there should be about 125 in here. Plus the 75 will have about $200 for savings challenges. And I may also put some of those savings challenges towards like Mother's Day or Father's Day in my wallet, different things that I need to, that I know that I'll need to do. But I'll probably have a game night, another game night with my mom for April. So we'll use some of this, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go crazy. I'm gonna cut it to maybe like one or two turns per person for the games that we have going for that. I took one game out and added something new, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get this situated, but thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and until next time, bye for now.